Zakian V League Battle Deck. That is what we are unboxing and reviewing today. This is a highly anticipated League Battle Deck that many people have been looking forward to, including myself. The really good thing about these League Battle Decks is that they come armed with a pretty much competitive, ready to play deck right out of the go. Like you could probably run this in a average level tournament and do pretty well. So these decks, they release pretty much every every season or so. We've seen them in the past with Pikachu Zekrom and Charizard Reshiram, and they basically release the most popular, popular decks in a easy to buy, Pokemon official package. If you were new to the Pokemon trading card game and wanted to get a deck that is already competitive with some of the most popular cards, including Zac Envy and uh, Arceus Dialga Palkia, then this deck is for you. And the thing with the Zac Envy card is that it's a really good card that's pretty much a staple in every deck. So this deck was, I believe, $29.99. I had to pre-order this deck and it is sold out at a lot of places, but if you can find it for retail, which is the ideal scenario, finding these decks for retail, you'll pretty much get your money in value value for the cards like pretty much equal basically you know how you buy booster packs and you're pretty much gambling a little bit with your money these decks right here the actual aftermarket price of a lot of these cards is equivalent to the deck and you don't have to pay extra shipping for all the individual cards so it's just a really convenient deck for new and both experienced players as well so here it is oh and by the way before we get into the deck and open it up for you guys we are doing a elite trainers box champions path giveaway at a thousand subscribers so if you're new to the channel hit that red button down below hit that like button and join the sneaker talk family here on sneaker talk tcg let's take a look at the uh the league deck the zakian v league deck here we have it you can see the three cover cards right here all holographic print you also have a little box here as well i'm not sure if the box is going to fit the cards once they're sleeved up you also have the look at the back right here it gives you the full deck list so if you wanted to know exactly what you were getting it is right here so as i mentioned earlier a lot of really good cards in this deck and it doesn't just include the deck it also includes a couple of other things as well which you guys will see Ooh. and i completely forgot to make a thumbnail for this video so i'm gonna put it right back in and, and take the thumbnail all right so first things first you do get a pokemon trading card game rule book what is this it is a little welcome thing welcome to the league battle decks bippity boppity boo we put op cards in this deck so you don't have to go and buy them by yourself so it also gives you a little bit of a little bit of like uh, deck strats right here. And that's pretty cool. How to upgrade your league battle deck. So they give you like recommendations on what cards to add to your deck. Pokemon's like, hey, we saw you spend money on this. It's like Amazon. People who bought this often buy these. Here's a look at what you might want to pick up if you also are trying to get your deck much more uh, competitive. They put uh, the Melmetal and Lucario on the bottom right, right there. We got some Bird Keepers, Scoop Up Net, Crobat V, which is also an essential in pretty much every deck. Nice little thing for, for new players who aren't too familiar. Here is a look at the, uh, the little plastic that is included, or a little, basically the thing, the thing we're looking at. So here we have it. This is Arceus Dialga Palkia GX, and this is easily one of the most OP powerful cards in the game. So let's just do a quick read through through all these two cards that I want to show you guys, Zaki and V and uh, Arceus Dialga Palkia. We'll call it, we'll call it ADP. That's pretty much what most, uh, prof not professional, most players call it, they call it ADP. So uh, the reason why Arceus Dialga and Palkia are so good and why you only get one in this deck and not more than one is because of its ultimate right attack. For three energy cost a water metal and a colorless does 150 damage which is enough to knock out most pokemon under stage two or under and uh, almost any any v card because most v cards are like 180 hp and it allows you to search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to your pokemon in any way that is insanely insanely good and uh Actually, thinking about it now, having this deck or having this card in like maybe an amazing rare deck would be interesting. I wonder how that's gonna play out. I'm not sure if you're allowed to have more than one amazing rare card in your deck, um, but yeah. This card is very strong, but that's not it. There's more. It has Altered Creation GX. This attack is probably one of the best GX attacks in the game. For the rest of the game, your Pokemon attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. If this Pokemon has at least one extra water energy attached to it, when your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from those attacks, take one more Prass card than you, you, you would have. That's 
That's disgusting. You can use that Alter Creation GX attack to basically buff all of your Pokemon for the rest of the game. But on top of that, if you had an extra water energy on top of that one metal energy that you needed for the attack, you get a bonus prize card. That is so freaking broken. And I think it's one of the only cards in the uh, trading card game that has an ability of that nature. So it's a very, very strong card. And uh, yeah, here's the value of it on screen right now. Having this, and then you also get two Zacian Vs. Uh, you, I think you at least get more than half of the value out of the uh, the elite deck right here, or the uh, the special battle deck. So here it is, Zacian V, which you get two copies of. Its ability is Intrepid Sword. Once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and attach any number of metal energy cards you find there to this Pokemon. Put the other cards into your hand. So this is what they call in the competitive scene a draw engine card. So not only do you get to attach energies to your Pokemon, you also just get to filter your deck out and get more good cards into your hand and draw for free now your turn ends so this card's really good if you're on your first turn because it's one of the ways you can actually get bonus cards on your first turn since you can't play a supporter and uh, if you weren't going to be able to attack that turn or you just decided that you weren't going to attack that turn and wanted to draw three cards instead then zack and v is is your homeboy for that so zack and v incredibly strong card and it's in so many competitive decks not just uh, metal decks because it's a metal type pokemon so two of those so here's the value of all these three cards on screen right now and then here's the value of the box or the price of the box at retail you also get this right here a poison and burn counter and a special little gx counter as well pretty standard these come with every single tr uh, deck you buy but i think you usually get cardboard ones so this is a nice little nice little upgrade a little acrylic coins and then this is nice too it's a a like acrylic gx tag team so that broken move i showed you guys earlier it's a gx attack you can only use one gx attack per game next up we got some dice right here kind of color coded that's cool uh, but because pokemon uses tens and twenties and hundreds for their damage they recently change the dice that they give you to these like damage counter dice so uh yeah i remember back when i was younger you'd have to punch out the cardboard 10s and 20s and 50s from the uh little cardboard things that the decks gave you so you have these bunch of damage counter dice so i was worried that this wasn't going to be included in the deck but you actually get a zack and v league battle deck code so uh, you can use this online and it's going to give you this exact deck online so if you wanted to try playing online practice the deck maybe you can't go to your local tournament or play against people locally then uh, that's the way you can use this deck and fight people online and uh, start off with a very strong deck right out the get-go all right so here it is the zakian v cardboard deck box really cool i like it i like it unfortunately i do think it's going to be way too small to hold every card once you have them sleeved up let's open up this deck box show you guys all the cards that come with it and then uh yeah let's open up a orbital v box for the next video so here we go here is what is included in the deck i'll give you guys a brief little tidbit of information depending on the card uh, but we're just going to quickly go through this so you guys can uh, enjoy your rest of your day so here we go mallow and luna it's basically a switch that heals for 120 so really good when you have your uh your big chunky boys on the field guzma and hala we got quick ball really good to get your op cards into your hand you can only play this card if you have another card in your hand and you just discard a card in your hand to get any basic pokemon into it so if you wanted a zack in or an adp you just have to get this deck or get this card and it throws it into your hand uh, we got professor's research quick ball another one energy jirachi this card is a staple in a lot of decks as well not just metal decks it's super super handy it also filters out your deck so once during your turn before you attack if this pokemon is your active pokemon you may look at the top five cards of your deck reveal a trainer card you find there and put it into your hand then shuffle the other cards back into your deck and this pokemon is now asleep so very strong card if you really want to uh set up early in a very 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 strong way this card is basically just in almost every deck these days uh, depending on the deck, of course, but it's a staple. Definitely a staple, just like Zack and V. We have a Metal Saucer. And one little thing that really annoys me is why can't they just organize this deck by energies, trainers, and Pokemon? Like, why is it in some weird random order? Anyways, all right, Metal Saucer. This is a free energy uh, attached to a Pokemon once you have an energy in your Discord pile. Really useful if they use like a hammer on you. We got Marnie. Uh, really, it's basically a staple in every deck as well. Boss's Orders, another staple on this deck. It basically switches your opponent's Pokemon with whatever Pokemon you want. And there's no counter to this at all. So you want to knock out a particular Pokemon, play this card, and you can do it. It's so good. I honestly think it's a bit broken. You need at least two of these in every deck, honestly, in my opinion. Four is ideal. Um, but yeah, Boss's Order is great. Galarian Zigzagoon. This card throws me off. I'm not sure why they put this in. 
Um, all you have to do is play this card onto your bench and you do 10 damage to somebody. But I don't think they include the evolutions of this card. So all this card really is, is 10 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon and that's all it is. We got Scoop Up Net. Um, this is good if you're gonna combo it with this Galarian Zigzagoon right here. Uh, and then we also have, what else? We got a Switch, a Energy Switch. We got another Jirachi, another Marnie. Oranguru, this card is really good for making sure certain cards are at the top of your deck. So just having this on your bench, you're able to organize the top cards of your deck. It says once during your turn, you may switch a card from your hand with the top card of your deck. So if you're comboing that with a and V, you're guaranteed to get the right cards that you want when those abilities pop off. Energy, energy, fidget spinner. We got a switch. We got another metal saucer, professor's research, metal energy, Viridian forest, a water energy, Great catcher, which we got a scoop up net. We got ordinary rod, metal energy, quick ball, Marnie, Jirachi. So they incl included quite a few uh, Jirachis. Energy switch, another metal energy. Mewtwo, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may put a supporter card from your discard pile on top of your deck. So again, it's another one of those really good combo cards that allows you to basically uh, create your own luck. And that's what this deck really is about, creating your own luck, uh, forcing the game to play out the way you want it to. What else we got? We got Galarian Perserker, we got Metal Saucer, Big Charm, Professor's Research, we got Galarian Meowth. So this card is really good because you can play Galarian Meowth and then you just have to sacrifice two cards in your hand and you can add this evolution into your hand for free. Well, at the cost of those two cards. Once you have a lot of extra cards in your hand, you can just filter them out and trade them for the Galarian Perserker, which creates some very good consistency in your deck. Metal Energy Tag Call. This card allows you to basically uh, call the supporters in your deck that have the tag team logo, or you can get a uh, ADP and add it to your deck, or add it to your hand. So very, very good card, Tag Call. We got Oranguru, another one of them. Boss's Orders, another. Another Marnie, another Switch. Metal Energy, Energy Switch. Jirachi, Aurora Energy. This is basically a rainbow energy. You have to drop one card from your hand. This energy counts for like every type. So by having this card on your Mewtwo, you'll then be able to attack with your Mewtwo. And then say you're missing a, uh, say you're missing the water or metal energy that's required for this card. This card will count for either though, one or the other, but it's gonna, it's gonna be very useful. You're gonna wanna have Aurora energy. Maybe add another copy or two to this deck to make it even more competitive. We got Quick Ball, Goop Up Net, Metal Saucer, a Metal Energy, Professor's Research, and that is it.